new gadget is a major event with diehard consumers lining up at Apple stores. But whether it's buying toothpaste or the latest gizmo, is brand loyalty for losers? Some new research suggests it might be. Let's bring in our branding expert, Rick Cerrone, from former senior director of media relations for the New York Yankees and a smart guy. Thanks hey, for Jerry. coming in. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Here's my theory. Okay. Now you tell me what you think about right. it. People don't change brands because it's too much of a hassle. Mm -hmm. Well, that's partly true. There's people that still would prefer to listen to 33 and a third RPM records because they don't want to try to open, uh, a, open a CD. You're putting me in that bucket, okay. But, uh, <laughs> you know, the companies that they don't change from have earned that loyalty. Um, you've got to provide a good product and you've got to provide good customer service, and the good companies do that. The good companies do it, but it's not necessarily clear that all the well-known brands are well-known products. A new study from a market research firm in Australia says this, 46% of people's daily lives are based on habit. It's just what they're used to doing, so they keep doing what they're doing without any attention to the quality of product. You know, I buy Kleenex because I buy Kleenex. Well, you know what? You buy Kleenex because you're pretty happy with that Kleenex. If you were buying that Kleenex and for some reason it, it didn't meet your needs or your expectations, you'd move on to another product. So for the most part, those 46% of these pe those people have been satisfied with the product that they're using. And I believe it all comes down to customer service and a good product. Well, if you can get customer service, I still say people are uh, on autopilot when it comes to a lot of brands because it's just a lot of work. You so many brands you buy in your life, some on a daily basis, some on a weekly basis, some on a yearly, annual, monthly. Uh, here is what the University of Alberta had to say about this topic. In repeated consumption or use of product, consumers can become locked into a particular product, technology, vendor, or service provider. Uh, this habitual pattern, it becomes a habit. It's what you do. You don't know what the other offerings are out there. You don't know that your product's worse than something else because you've never tried it. Well, for the most part, that's why these companies spend so much time and money on their product, improving their product, and keeping their customer loyalty through customer service. I mean, a lot of the products I use right now today are stores I shop in. I can see which ones are better in terms of their customer service towards me and which ones aren't. And that's where I shop and that's the products that I buy. Uh MIT mm -hmm. has some interesting comments on this. They say people may believe that they drink Coke for the taste, but in reality, they're responding to a brand in image. So we're responding to those advertising uh, images oh, out there. Oh, absolutely. And anyone that says we don't mm -hmm. is not paying attention. You know, we, we buy products because of the status of it and because, you know, you think you'll feel better and you'll be part of the in crowd and everything. But that's all part of the packaging. That's why when someone says, you know, why, do you buy, why don't you buy a generic product, which is the same as the, the other product, but that's not that's a brand name well the reason people <laughs> don't is because you know they don't get that same feeling about the brand the, the, the does generic it shock product. you the degree to which people became apple aficionados and would and were so loyal and sort of kind of frankly nutty about their love for these products they would queue up hundreds of people for the re latest release yeah sure uh you know they would wear you know the patch on their backpack the apple you know like a little apple branding yeah. It, it was sort of amazing. It's almost the, like a cult. It's almost like a cult. That's absolutely right. I mean, it's got to be something if you're going to line up for a day or two days or three days to get the newest yeah. product when you just got the newest one two months ago. So that's the sign of a good company that they build that kind of brand loyalty. Is it a sign loyalty. of a good company or just good marketing? Because let's face it, here's what's going on with Apple right now. Their share price is pretty much cut in half. Mm -hmm. People are wondering about the newest iterations yeah. of their products. Uh, they're getting huge competition from Samsung. Is this the best company? It's but just you hit a it brand right on the head. that works. You hit it right on the head. Marketing is so important, it helps to make it a good company. I mean, in people's eyes, people's, you know, the customer's, you know, the customer's perception is your reality. So, you know, marketing we, we is a big start, part of it. We gotta start perceiving more. That's my view. Rick, it's great to see you. Always it's good fun to, to see have you, you on the show. Okay, Thanks great. for coming in. I'll be back. A Fox